course those pieces inside we'd have to do some lighting you know obviously but that's that's part of the production I mean you have to spend time getting the pictures you know making them look nice uh, when it's out here when it's sunny or anything or when we're you know as far as uh, outdoors there's never any problem it's just yeah, I just got a picture yesterday that a guy took uh -huh. with a 35 millimeter camera and it had it was that day it was raining uh -huh. it had a rainbow that come right over the top of the Indian head huh. and the other end of the rainbow ended right at his sign <laughs> really funny as that. from the top of the Indian head huh? yeah it came from over in the back and then went over the Indian head huh. and then the other end of it stopped right there at that yellow sign I love the Indian it's great Pepsi sign, right? You got a Route 66 sign, too. Yep. Yeah. That's great. A lot of great old stuff. Well, that's why I say it's. it would take time and... Uh, I got enough stuff time. so that if I could get somebody with a backhoe to get up here, I'd have a what I call a whaling wall. What do you mean? Well... Whaling. Put up about five or six telephone poles or power poles and then put a big wall up there and then fasten all this old shit to it. Oh, yeah, and make it... I uh, got an old tin sign that came from Chicago from Babe Ruth, Baby uh, Ruth Candy Company. That's a good idea, to do to have a wall, a display wall. Yeah. Yeah, the whaling wall. 